What's up, X1? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about this new beautiful bar in the family. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about this baby. This is the newest barbell to my collection and to the X1 family. We are looking at a rogue boneyard bar. The boneyard bars are bars that get nicked up, scratched, something like that in production. They get double tracked knurling, something like that. And so they put them in the boneyard, they take the warranty off and they put them at a super nice cheap price. So this is one that I wanted to check out the Boneyard and see how bad or how good those bars were. And I also wanted to check out this bar in particular. This is the Boneyard version of the Rogue Junior 10K bar. And that bar had some fun little features about it that I always wanted to check out, but I never could quite get myself to pay the money for that bar, even though I knew I wouldn't use it all the time. And so I just... I didn't want to pull the trigger, but it popped up in the boneyard. Always wanted to check out the boneyard and also always wanted to check out this bar. So I was able to do both in one purchase. As far as the boneyard goes, the reason that mine was put in the boneyard is some scratches here that you won't be able to see in this video, but I'll zoom in on them. Um, it's just some like scratches in the center where there's no knurling. Um, doesn't affect the functionality whatsoever. Just some scratches in the, in the coating there. And doesn't bother me one bit. Scratches like that are going to happen. The rest of the bar is absolutely in perfect, beautiful shape. The knurling on this bar is wonderful. I personally really, really love Rogue's knurling that they put on the Ohio bar, the Rogue 2.0 bar, some of those other bars like that. I haven't gotten a chance to get my hands on their deadlift bar, but I have tried the knurling on the power bar. I love that more of an aggressive knurling on the power bar that they do on the Ohio power bar. And so this is more similar to that Ohio bar and the Rogue 2.0 bar. The shaft is 25 millimeters, which is a little bit smaller than traditional 28, 28.5. Um, and I'm used to a 28.5. That's what I've been lifting with for most of my lifting career and so this is a little bit narrower it gives me a chance to play with that sort of smaller grip a little bit most deadlift bars that rogue makes are 25 millimeters gives you a little bit more to hold on to and so it's kind of been fun to see what that's like a little bit the other big benefit to me and this bar is everyone knows if you've been watching that i'm in this small little apartment right now i'm just here for one year in this lease until my lease is up and I'm moving to somewhere a little bit bigger with a little bit more space. So I have a pretty small little apartment gym set up. I'm gonna be doing a full tour of this gym once I get one or two more things once they're in stock. But the biggest problem I had is the space between the edge of this rack and if you can see it, this dining room counter. And I didn't have enough space really to move around um, if I was squatting or bench pressing in the rack and I moved at all, I was in danger of hitting that. And I'm on the second story, I don't wanna make a lot of noise. So that kind of stinks. And I also don't wanna damage the counter and have to pay for that. So what this does is this is the shortest sleeve length that I could find that still had a full width um, like shaft in the middle. And so what this allows me to do is I can have this completely load it up with all my weight. Um, it fills up the shaft pretty much pretty full, but that's okay. I'm not lifting ridiculous seven to 800 pounds right now. I'm in those lower or weight ranges and this is plenty for me. The bar weighs 10 kilograms instead of 20, like a traditional bar. So you have to change up your math a little bit and start kind of adding. What I've learned that I can do is add two 10 pound plates and then just go with my normal math from there. 
So if I have two 10 pound plates, that brings the bar back up to right around that 45, 44 pound range, it's 44 pounds. And then I can start doing the 45 pound increments from there up. And so it doesn't mess up my math too much. I did order just to have, and I wanna eventually get a full set of, I ordered two of the 55 pound steel calibrated plates from Rogue. They're not here yet, they're on back order. They'll be here in the next week or so, and I'll make sure and pop a video up on YouTube of those guys once I get them. But what those are gonna let me do is I'll put the two 55s on, and then this bar will sit right at 135, and I can start doing my 45 pound increments up from there, just like regular, regular math. Um, and so I'm really excited for that. I wanted to show everyone kind of the width a little bit. And so we'll put this guy up here. And I do have a traditional Olympic bar that I was lifting with before. This is a power bar, an Olympic power bar. And just wanted everyone to be able to see that between my counter and the bar, I had about two inches here. I don't know if you guys can see me. Hopefully the camera stayed focused on that. So I didn't necessarily hit the counter every time I did a rep, but I was really close. And it was also really, really hard to put plates on and off in that space. So by moving to this guy, I opened up a ton of room over there. I can load and unload plates just like any other rack. It's really easy for me. Um, and I'm not in danger of hitting that counter. So this was a great pick. I looked a lot at maybe just getting like a women's bar because they have a little bit shorter sleeves too. But I figured I'd rather have like two ends of the spectrum and have a full Olympic bar and have the lighter one. I could do easier increments of weight that way. And my plan is, is to always keep this. There's no reason to get rid of it. And I can always use it as like a curl bar. Um, it will be great for like Olympic training, things like that. If I'm doing some group settings, I have a couple of them. So I'm really excited to have this in the family. Um, everything about it is in great shape. It's basically an Ohio bar to me. The sleeves are exactly the same. They have the same exact bearing system and they spin wonderfully. I've got to do some power cleaning and some more speed movements there. And it really, really rocks. The knurling on this bar that I had in here really kind of sucked. I even taped it up so that I could grip it a little bit better. And so moving to a good rogue knurling like I had back home with my brothers, it's really, really nice to be back to that. So I'm really happy about this bar. That was a quick little overview. If you have questions about this bar, about why I picked it out, let me know, shoot me some questions in the comments below. I'm happy to answer and respond to anything like that. Anyways, this is X1, Strength Fitness. Remember, you can do anything once.